Pisces, welcome to Lead by Light. My name is Jordan. I am the owner of Lead by Light. I am a tarot reader, psychic empath, and Reiki master. So I do tarot readings for people all over the world. I also do a Reiki healing session. So if you'd like to book a session or book a reading, you can do so down below. All my information will be in the description box. That includes all my social media and my website. So let's get right into it. This is going to be a reading for April 1st through the 7th of 2020. I'm going to start you off with an animal spirit oracle card. Um, if you get more than two, you get more than two. You know, whatever spirit has to say is what they say. And uh, then I'll get right into your reading. I have two tarot decks here. I got Tarot of Wonderland and Modern Witch Tarot. I link all of my decks in the description box. So if you want to purchase them, you can find them all below. Let's get into it. Pisces. Show me what I need to see for my Pisces spirit. April 1st through 7th. Ooh, be here now. Be present. Be present. Use your mind wisely. If you're overthinking about what's to come, what hasn't come yet, what's the unknown? Because we're in a very difficult time right now, obviously, with everything going on in the world health-wise. Um, be in the present. Don't worry. Don't overthink. I know way easier said than done. Way easier said than done, guys. I know it's a tough time. Try and stay present. Just be here now. Appreciate what you currently have. Um, and use your mind wisely. Don't overthink. Don't give yourself stress and anxiety that's not needed, you know, over things that you don't have control over. Use your mind to your benefit. Speak positivity out. Manifest a positive outcome. Manifest abundance, love, joy, light, you know, all that good stuff. Look into some affirmations, especially the ones that correlate with your chakras. Focus on keeping your chakras healthy right now as well. That will help you not only stay present, but also... Use your mind wisely. Okay, guys, so let's get into Pisces, April 1st through the 7th, 2020. Let's get a tarot reading. Let's do a good few shuffles here. Pisces, April 1st through the 7th, 2020. Pisces, April 1st through the 7th. So you can see all the cards, hopefully. Okay. Overall energy for the week. Two of Wands, waiting for your opportunity. Waiting for that opportunity to make a move because your current situation, a lot of love. Look at you, Pisces. All the love in the world. You and your boo. What's crossing? The Wheel of Fortune. It is in reverse, so it's still turning. You might be stuck in an old cycle. It could also mean bad luck. I don't get that vibe. The recent past, you want to sneak away, walk away from something, or someone was being deceptive. Immediate future, letting down your guard. You're done being defensive. Okay, what's known? You got a lot of love. A lot of love. A lot of cups here. A lot of swords, too. Um, the focus of the reading, coming out of conflict. There's a lot of conflict. This could also be inner conflict, okay, when it's in reverse. Your current energy, the hangman. You're kind of just chilling. You're not taking action on anything. You're letting go, which would explain the whole no longer being defensive, okay? Exterior energies, energies around you that you may not be aware of, the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this new beginning, someone wanting this very cutting, very fast new beginning and it's and not happening. Your hopes and fears, you're hoping for a new beginning. And your potential outcome, the Hermit. Going within, finding some healing, doing some introspection, maybe getting some enlightenment on a thing or two. Let's get into some clarifiers. I'm going to use Modern Witch Tarot for the clarifier. Let's just appreciate how freaking big this deck is. I can't get over it. It's new and I just can't shuffle it with my hands. It's like crazy. It's really stiff. Okay, let's try it. Have a workout. 
Show me what I need to see for my Pisces for April 1st through the 7th spirit. Okay. Show me what I need to see. Okay. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you got a lot of love and happiness, but someone's throwing a little temper tantrum. They're like, I don't want your damn cup today. I don't want it. You're over it. <laughs> Literally, the shirt says over it in it. Yeah. Clarified by the Ten of Cups in reverse. So there's a lot of current energy, but you guys ain't too happy lately. You might be fighting a lot. Someone might've been sneaking around in the past. Um, it's a very stable, very loving connection, very mutual connection, but your 10 of cups upright went the 10 of cups reverse with the four of cups. Someone's not too happy with it. And I think it's you Pisces. Let's check out this wheel of fortune in reverse. Maybe things didn't play out the way you wanted. I don't wanna take, this is too many. I'm not gonna take all these. Good message, but I'm not gonna take all that spirit on me. Thank you. Yeah, someone didn't make a decision in the past, which is why this Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. Someone didn't make a decision. Someone failed to make a judgment call. So you got judgment in reverse here. Also karma. Could be that you guys haven't fulfilled a karmic cycle. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, King of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. You got the King and Queen of Cups. Lots of love here, lots of love. King and queen of cups, okay. 10 of cups, king and queen of cups, but not good communication is what I feel here. I feel like someone doesn't communicate very well. Let's talk about the seven of swords in the recent past. Let's check out what was going on here. Let's talk about the seven of swords, clarified by the five of swords in reverse, which is also the focus of the reading. A lot of inner conflict. Okay, there's a lot of conflict here. Someone was sneaking around. Someone might have been suspecting that someone was being deceitful or secretive or just sneaky. This is kind of like the trickster card. Look at that. That's someone who's just sneaking around. I don't like it. I just don't like it. And I feel like you knew about it or they knew that you were sneaking around. I really think it's your person though. Not to be biased, you know, not to be biased at all, but it's just the bad. Let's see what we got. What did we get? Yeah. Someone wanted to move on. You went from the five of swords to six of swords. You're like, F this. That's probably why I caught you sneaking around. I ain't happy with you anymore. Um, over it. Can you see that? The shirt literally says over it. Okay. Over it. No more ten of cups with this person. Yeah, they have a lot of love for you though, because they're showing up with the king of cups. Like, wait, wait, don't leave me. They're crossing the situation. Tell me about the seven of swords, spirit. Seven of Wands, sorry, Seven of Wands in the immediate future. Holy hot tamales, what did we get? Got the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're doing some self-reflection. That's all this is about. That's all this is screaming. And your final outcome is the Hermit, okay? So we got it twice already. So the Hermit, this is someone who's disconnecting, see, shutting the laptop, kind of like, I'm over it. I'm taking a break, I'm going within. And the Page of Pentacles, it could be a student, someone who's studying a new endeavor, but in this case, I take it as self-reflection. You're staring at the Pentacles, seeing your own reflection in it. You're, you're looking back on what you've learned as the student from this past situation with this person, okay? You're taking some time to heal, some time to work on yourself. Talk about the Queen of Cups and what's above and what's known. Talk about the Queen of Cups for my Pisces and what's known for April 1st to the 7th, 2020. I'm not gonna take all of them, I'll take the one that came out. So you got the page of wands. It was in reverse when I picked it up. Um, I feel like your person's really immature. Very immature, they're kind of just playing games and you're over here like, I'm the queen and I don't got time for your stuff, you know? Tell me more about the queen of cups, please, for my Pisces. For April 1st to the 7th. Just one more card, spirit, please. Yeah. New beginning, that's not happening. They wanna offer it to you. Let me show you how these cards are sitting right now. So they're coming in as a page, an immature page with an offer. This is what's known. And you're like, nope, I got my cup and I'm gonna hand it to someone over here. I'm not gonna hand it to you though, okay? 
does start. Yeah. And then you get the five of swords, inner conflict. You're ending a cycle. You're going into a new cycle right now. Okay, so you got the Wheel of Fortune, and then you got in what's crossing, and then the focus of the reading, the Five of Swords, this inner conflict, all this fighting, all this bickering with this person, all this mental anguish you're causing yourself from this situation is bringing you clarity and helping you move into a new cycle of healing, a new cycle of healing, okay? With the Hermit and that self-reflection card. Because it's no longer worth fighting for for you. This is someone who's fighting for it. You have it in the reverse in your immediate future, the Seven of Wands in reverse. I'm done fighting for it. I'm over it. You know, it's, it's not serving me to my highest good. Yeah, you're letting go of control. This is your current energy, the hangman. I release the control. I give it up to the universe. You know what's meant for me will find me. And I'm not trying to control the situation anymore. I have too much healing to do. You're not taking any action. Tell me about the hangman. Tell me about the hangman spirit. The devil, yeah, because it was toxic. You're removing yourself from that toxic situation. You're like, I'm over it. It's in reverse. You're releasing this toxic, really. You're no longer obsessing over it. Yeah, you don't want that connection anymore. You have the two of cups connected to the devil. Meh. Blech. Horrible energy. Blech. I don't want it. Get it away. Get it away. Ah, wounded warrior. You're no longer fighting for this. This is someone who's like, I can give it one last battle. I can give it one last shot. And this is someone who's like, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight for this. Uh-uh. I'm gonna chill right here. Hold on to my damn wand. Yeah, because you're not stable. King of coins in reverse. King of pentacles. Tell me about the ace of swords. They want this new beginning with you. They want to message you. They want to come in quick. Holy hot tamales. Come on. The ace of swords and the eight of wands. Okay, they want this new beginning. They don't have faith that it's going to happen. They feel it's as if it's delayed. They're not taking action on it, but they're thinking about it. Swords are all about thought. It's analytical. They're thinking about this new beginning. They're thinking about talking, communicating, trying to work this out with you. They want to come rushing in. They want to take action, but they too scared because they know they fucked up. Da, da, da. Okay, tell me about the ace of pentacles. Tell me about the ace of pentacles and hopes and fears. Okay, you know you want a new beginning. You know you want a new beginning, okay? That is what is known for sure. Sorry, a bunch of cards fell out. You're hoping for a stable new beginning. Yeah, you're fearful that it won't be stable though. Four of wands in reverse, instability not a long-term commitment. You want something that's long-term. You want a new start that is going to be a long-term stable commitment. Yeah, because you're fearful of feeling this pain again. Again, You don't, you don't want to go through this. You're like, this is a hard cycle. Okay, let's talk about the hermit. The potential outcome, this healing, this healing that my Pisces is going to be doing. What do we got? You feel stuck, which is understandable. Healing, typically when you go within, you do feel a little stuck. It's a little confusing at first. It is self-imposed though, okay? Eight of Swords is self-imposed. This is you making yourself feel stuck, but you're really not, you know? Just make a practical plan. I know I don't like X, Y, Z about myself in a relationship. I know I need to change X, Y, Z. I know I contribute X, Y, Z. Yeah, because you have a lot of love to give. You got a lot of love to give. You're showing up as the Queen of Cups. Again, it's also what's in what's known. You're the Queen of Cups. Okay. Yeah, and we get the lovers in reverse. You had a lot of love, but you, the lovers is also about a decision. You decided to disconnect from this person, okay, because they were toxic. And that was a good decision. It worked out in your favor. But it's very painful, and it makes you feel stuck now, okay? It makes you feel stuck. You're like, well, dang, I have so much love for this person, but I can't have them because they're toxic as F. Yeah, but you're listening to your intuition. You know this is what you need to do with the High Priestess here. This is a very spiritual card. You know this is what you need to do. Bottom of the deck, Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for your new opportunity. All right, let's talk about this Two of Wands. This is you waiting for, oh, this is great. So you got the Two of Wands for the overall energy for the week and your independence and the Three of Swords, getting over that pain, getting over that hurt, stepping into your power this is typically heartbreak okay so we all know you're going to feel this but in doing so you're looking for your independence you're looking for your own stability the nine of pentacles this is a single ladies card okay single man card 
but it's what was underneath your overall energy of the two of wands, okay? So I got the two of wands. Yeah, they're gonna wanna come in. Well, if it's you waiting for an opportunity, this could also be you waiting for the right time to go towards this offer. You're just not sure when it's coming. It could just be delayed. Yeah, it's delayed. You gotta do your healing and then you'll celebrate and you'll step into your power as Empress. But currently the Empress in reverse is a lot about learning to show yourself love versus giving love to others, celebrating with others all the time, okay? You need to learn to love yourself. She's Venusian. She is the mother of Venus, of love, of care, of nurturing, fertility, balance, harmony, okay? Earth. You need to give the love that you give to others so much to yourself, okay? Any final messages for my Pisces? Yeah. Nurture yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your work. Plant your seeds and grow. Okay? That's your advice from spirit. Because this person, they toxic. No bueno. No bueno. But they want to offer you love. It's given. Yeah, but they're toxic. So just listen to your intuition. You're already doing it. It's a potential outcome. Okay, listen to your intuition in regards to a relationship. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's over, but this could be a very transformative time for both of you because you do have the lovers and the outcome. Okay, so this could just be a time for you to do some work inside, do some healing for yourself. Um, and from there, you'll be able to move forward. So Pisces, this is what I have for you. Uh, I will see you guys next time.